Becoming a sentinel at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is no easy task. With training and testing that can take a candidate up to a year to complete, a soldier must invest themselves wholeheartedly to make it through. Meet Sergeant Ruth Hanks. She's become the fourth female to earn the title of Sentinel. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? As a female sentinel, Sergeant Hanks does receive a lot of attention when she steps out onto the plaza, but the reason she's there is for one reason only. I always try and bring it back to the unknowns because that's what I'm here for. And I know I'm a female and I feel like that is detracting from what our mission is and what we do, so I always try and bring it back to the unknowns um, so that everybody remembers what they're here for. They're not here to see me, they're here for, to honor the unknowns. Of the 3rd Infantry Regiment, United States Army, Guard of Honor, Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. To me, I'm down here just as another, another tomb guard, another tomb sentinels. The, the guys I work with on the relief and even in the entire platoon down here will tell you the same thing. To be part of this, this small brotherhood, and it is a brotherhood. Whether there's females in it or not, it is a brotherhood. And it will always be a brotherhood. A brotherhood built on discipline and perfection. A brotherhood that will push you to keep going even though you feel you can't and to remind you why you volunteered to become a sentinel. Everyone has doubts. Everyone has those times where you have your ups and your downs, like I said. I've been through a lot of personal stuff while I've been through training. And the one thing that gets me through is the unknowns on the plaza. Because that's what I'm out here for. Reporting from the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier in Arlington National Cemetery, Army Staff Sergeant Jadel Samara.